what is happening? I was just sitting here eating some moose and deer meat. Um, jerking off to Bakahaku's friendship is dirty. And I only come back to Bakahaku friendship is dirty like now, like every month because it takes so long. I think he's preoccupied with other things at the moment. So right now I came back and I was like, oh shit, there's three n new pages, you know, of oh, basically Twilight is about to fuck Luna. Anyways, so while I'm there with my cock in my hand, I see that the new episode of My Little Pony has been released much earlier. I thought the hiatus was until after the movie, and isn't the movie like two more months? Something strange is going on. And I think it's the Pony Gods, actually. I might throw away my heathen, atheistic ways, my hedonism. I stop praying to God if this is the miracles that are gonna come up. <laughs> so, I mean, the... And the title of the episode is so weird. It's, what is it called? Stranger Than Fan Fiction. It's episode 13. Which is, I think, was going to be the last episode before the hiatus. But they did some scheduling or whatever. So I think this is going to be like an episode where there's a lot of action. And, you know, we'll just be like, alright, see you guys in a couple months. <laughs> so, might as well just get into it. Ah, shit. I'm right. It's fucking daring dude. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. It's probably just Rainbow Dash reading. Let's be honest. But, oh man. Oh, I fucking love this. Yeah. Of course. What the fuck is happening? Sorry, Rainbow Dash. I just keep thinking about how much fun you're gonna have at the Daring Do convention. Oh. I wish Princess Celestia didn't need my help with the Friendship Summit in Griffinstone. Don't worry. I'll make sure AK Yearling signs your book. I can't believe she's oh. gonna be there. She never goes to Poor Twilight. <sighs> Which I guess will be cool for all those <laughs> other fan ponies. But since you and I know AK Yearling personally. Yeah. And we know that she's secretly daring to herself. It's no big deal. Wait, it's she's just gonna be fun, there? But it's nothing to get too excited about. So it's a convention where so she's actually there. Alright. I thought if she wanted to be like hidden, why would she be there? Anyways. Um Yeah, this is so weird. <laughs> Oh, poor Twilight. Poor, poor Twilight. I think she said that she has to do some friendship summoning in Griffinstone. So, yeah, that's something I would like to see. Maybe the next episode will be that. A Celestia episode with Twilight. Please, make it happen. It's not never gonna happen. We're never getting a Celestia episode. Like a pony who'd be up for an all-inclusive, one-of-a-kind adventuration where you get to live the daring do oh experience. Oh my god! No thanks. Yeah. Did that already? Yeah, bitch. I've done all of this. <laughs> I finally got that. She's already been on adventure with her and Excuse me. Of course. Thing ever. Oh god. This is something that only a true fan can appreciate. Oh I no. Put the tiles in the right order. <laughs> Good catch. Oh, I'm Quibble Pants. Nice to meet oh, you. Oh, he's an Earth I'm Pony. I didn't awesome. catch the fake you wings too. first. Thanks. The hard part was figuring out the right number, number of, of arrow holes. holes. Be because on page 84 of oh, Sapphire God. Stone, it describes her dodge Shipping. Oak, I've shipped it already. Holes in the very walls and oh, boy. Then, on page 107, Daring Do says she, quote, barely made it past the traps barrage of arrows, unquote. But clearly, <laughs> Daring Do is embellishing, and the correct number of arrows is 20. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> She's going to tell him that Daring Do is a yearling. 
Oh no. I like, she's found a friend, a new friend. Let's just see how everything goes wrong. <laughs> oh, was that a body pillow? <laughs> oh, some BDS BDSM action. I'll buy it. Oh, so a poor worker. Even though I knew the convention would be totally awesome, it's more fun when you're with someone who really knows daring do. I know what you mean. It's so hard to find a pony who really gets it. Yeah. I understand. We've only done step I know that trilogy. feel. After lunch, we should probably start working our way back through the other books. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There are no other books. What? Uh, of course there are. Daring doing the trek up the front tower. Oh no, he's like the other books of shit. Please, please don't. Just don't even mention the titles. <laughs> I'm not saying those books don't exist. I'm saying that I refuse to acknowledge them. <laughs> Why? Because they're horrible! I mean, there isn't a single thing after Ring of Destiny that is even remotely in the realm of the possible! What? <laughs> For a fact that everything in every one of those books is 100% possible! Uh, and how could you possibly know that? Uh, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. Well, that's a compelling argument. Alright, so now we're gonna hear their fan fiction. If you hate Daring Do so much. I don't hate Daring Do. The first series was smart and cool and an amazing <laughs> nod to old time serialized. Yes, Bronies. The first series are much better, right? Fuck that. At the same time, celebrating the art form without a hint of cynicism. Which is why I came here to ask AK Yearling, muzzle to muzzle, why she sold out and dumbed down the rest of her books and ended just a series of impossible actions. Yeah, this is for the nostalgia packets. Okay, yeah. I, the fans are gonna get I butt mad about this. With some pony who's willing to believe impossible stuff is possible as long as daring do does it. That's okay, because I could never be friends with some pony who's so focused on things being possible that he's willing to turn his back on the coolest hero of all time. Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yeah. Look, being a fan destroys lives. And I need her help to convince a know-it-all pony that everything Daring Do's ever done actually happened. He's like, uh, yes, of course, Chris Lady. Rainbow Dash? But then again... Hey, okay. I've got to talk to you. It's an emergency. Also, remember... Didn't he know she's fucking Rainbow Dash? Who she is? The hero Dude, of the quest rare? Is it Cavalaron? Did you see him? What? No. But there is a pony downstairs who thinks <laughs> everything you've written is totally unrealistic and terrible. So what? She to help me prove to him she doesn't that give a fuck. Totally possible. I've got bigger problems on my hoofs than dissatisfied fan ponies. <laughs> oh, the amulet of Kulikon and Cavaleron wants it. Oh no. It's only a key. <laughs> the real treasure is hidden in a lost temple. The seven-sided chest of Chico Mostock. Caballeron wants to sell it to the highest bidder, of course. Which is why I need to find Yeah, Caballeron. Yes. Sounds like another awesome daring So he's gonna come with his goons. But what are you doing here? Since I haven't found the temple yet, it's the safest place and for me in the end. everyone is going to think that it's just an act. Trouble. I can just blend in with all the Daring Do cosplayers. No. How can I help? Just keep your eyes You look much better than the cosplayers. Feel the cosplayers. Does a pony who only likes your first trilogy qualify as suspicious? Yes. <laughs> Just checking. It's... Oh god. That's a nice costume. I find all this fan fare on my arts and Couple of all. Disturbing. I mean, where is the booth for Cavalero? I do not see their likeness. <laughs> Come. Let us uh. there and do any amulet of Kulakon. Come on, pick up the body pillow. It's the most important, essential, any fan can have. <laughs> well, if it isn't the pony who knows impossible things oh, can happen... Oh, I can, I now see his cutie mark. An empty oh, comment. Sorry, Quibble. I've got more important things to do than argue with a pony who thinks... Awesome means unrealistic. 
<laughs> no, wait. Slap I want to hear more about how you're 100% sure that in Curse of the Jungle Queen, Daring Duke could survive a 60 story drop from the top of a waterfall after sustaining a broken wing in a Category 6 rapid. Ugh. Obviously, her wing wasn't broken. Cavaleron. See, now that's a great character. Solid backstory, <laughs> good motivations. Yeah. Cavaleron is Cavaleron perfect. Is right there. Of course he is. He's also over there, over there, oh, oh, over there, and over there. Where are you going? Shut the fuck up, bitch. All right, he's gonna turn out. He's going to know. God damn it. I fucking love this episode so far. back inside this yeah. is a little too much crazy out here for the both of us <laughs> all right they got captured god damn it i do not know what daring do is playing at but if she told you two fan ponies of my plan to steal the amulet you must work for her Cavaleron! Ha! what do you have to say now Rebel? it's just an act this was your plan to prove the daring do books are realistic <laughs> You bought a daring do experience adventucation. Really? What? No. no. Oh, look around us. Inch ponies, Cavaleron, the jungle it took forever to get to. This is the real deal. Right. We're actually being held captive by Cavaleron. Please, this guy's accent is all over the place. Uh, no offense. I... So what's the setup here? <laughs> You've kidnapped us and taken us to the middle. Oh, of I love our this guy. The temple of Chico Mostoc is somewhere in this jungle. When I find it, the seven-sided chest is as good as mine. I just need the amulet. I just Pulsar. love his expressions, well, like, uh, it. yeah, all right. Uh -huh. And Daring Do has the amulet, so you came up with this overcomplicated plot to lure her into the jungle and exchange it for us. <laughs> I wouldn't call it overcomplicated, but yes. Okay, we're done here. Great work. Seriously, very believable. <laughs> Get him. Beat him up. Listen, pal, you can keep her money, but I'm not going anywhere. You may not approve of my plan, but I'm the mastermind here. Debatable. <laughs> and I say you will remain here until Daring Do comes oh, to man. And if she wants you back in one piece, she will give me the amulet. Tie him up. <laughs> He's like, oh god. The grip is locked. You know of it. Further proof that you are an agent of Daring Do. Or an avid reader. <laughs> yeah. And now, I will continue my search for the temple. Don't go anywhere. They're gonna figure it out because they've read the book so often that they probably already know the code. Listen, if I pretend to believe this nonsense is real, will you call off the hench pony repertory theater over there? They're not gonna listen to me. They abducted us both. Oh, wow. So you're gonna stick with that script. Oh, okay, <laughs> fine. We're we're in a daring new adventure. Uh, I sure do love this. What was that? <laughs> what was that daring noise? Do. Thank goodness we're over here. Fan out! You can't let Daring Do rescue these two. <laughs> All four? I mean, shouldn't at least one of them stay behind to guard us? <laughs> he's oh, like, oh, wait, he's finally understanding how idiotic everyone is. Daring do adventure. It doesn't matter. We'll never stop the Griffin's lock before they get back. I've already done it. Okay, that was pretty good. Quick, we've got to get out of here and warn Daring do. No way. Just point me to the hotel and <laughs> you can play fan pony and hunt treasure out here all day long. <sighs> This is a daring do adventuration. The only way to get back to the convention is to go through it. So just follow me and I'll lead you out. Deal? Uh, uh, sure. Oh, fine. <laughs> Maybe if I just leave you in the jungle, oh. it'll convince you. The which hate sex. Left hook, which that's all I'm thinking of. And that is everything that's wrong with daring do and the trek to the terrifying tower. Now, the problems with the even though I shift. Are Sefer and Dash even more. Oh, right. What daring do adventure would be complete without the precarious rope bridge? <laughs> well, Rainbow, you can just fly. I can feel as real as possible, but are these adventuration ponies sure this thing is safe? Of course is not. Is it too realistic for you? 
Wouldn't want that on a daring do adventure, would we? It isn't <laughs> really a daring do adventure. I'm sure I'd step on the wrong plank at exactly the wrong moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you idiot. Good thing this is all just a pretend adventure. Oh, look at us plots. Struggling won't make the bridge fall apart. <laughs> you need to get your money back. <laughs> oh god, you idiot. He's like, oh, awesome. <laughs> Move. How's that for not possible? That was amazing. Awesome. I, I, I thought we, and then you began the flying. <laughs> well, and I was like, where are you going? And, and, and then you swerved. And I was, I was, oh, I was on man. water and the, and the, and the rock. He's, <laughs> he's not going to believe it still. Yeah. If you read that in a book, you might even think it was unrealistic. Okay, I'll give you that one. I mean, yeah, you get one point. We could have been done for. What, what kind of education is this? I mean, that's, that's just bad business. What, what are these ponies thinking? Right now, we are thinking that we should thank you for escaping. <laughs> He's a guy, goddammit. That led us directly to the lost temple of Chico Mosco. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I don't believe this shit. Come on. Make sure they are secure this time. We can't have them escaping again. Oh. You'll never get away with this. Won't I? Won't I? You've led me to the temple, and daring do is oh, that's nice. Uh, so the they had the horns. They look like fake not. horns, but still. What? So. Um, no with you remarks this time about how silly. Oh, uh, what's it called? This isn't the official Daring Do Experience Adventucation, is it? <laughs> Finally! Some cheap knockoff run by a bunch of incompetent <laughs> ponies that have no idea how to execute uh, this adventure with any level of safety. Uh, he's an what idiot. Was that with the bridge? We were in serious danger. I I'm reporting you all to... Well, I don't know who I'm reporting you to, but it's gonna be some pony important. Yeah, all right. This cut rate excuse for <laughs> experience. Yeah, he just proved anything except I'm leaving. I'm right. It has all the hallmarks of a lame daring do adventure. Uh, quibble. No, I'm talking. Generic jungle locations, <laughs> check. Overly complicated villain plot, check. Random coincidences that conveniently get us to the next big set piece, check. What were you accepting, you fool? Listen, buddy, I don't take orders from some second-rate performer acting <laughs> from the supervillain school of bad accent. Just push him down. The only thing this mess is missing is some giant Aoi Zoto wannabe monster, and I have a feeling that would be a bit oh, too boy. much for you bargain basement adventurers to pull off. Uh. Um, you're real. This is real. <laughs> Oh shit, he finally <laughs> got it. Oh shit. Dun, da, 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 da. Oh my god, there he is. I told you to warn me if anything suspicious. Not run off on an adventure without me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, it's the you're real thing, dude. You're, you're, you're friends with her? Yes. <laughs> to do introductions later. Right oh, now, that's to... smirk. You get out of here, yes. Thank you. Actually, no. No. What? We can't leave without the treasure. And we should probably get to it before our friend gets any higher. Oh, well, well. oh boy. Those were earth ponies. Whoa. All right. Seven doors, Saint Pegasus. Seven rocks. One of them leads to the treasure. Maybe that is Red supposed to be Aliquot, but it just has some armor. Yeah, yeah, the classic and not just Pegasus with horns. All you have to do is horn armor. Um, maybe you should let Daring Do figure it out. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> well, excuse me, princess. Not <laughs> that one. <laughs> is he always like this? Yes. Yeah. But he's usually right. <sighs> Which lock do you think it is? Oh, finally. <laughs> Look, each door has another door that matches. These two both have earth ponies fighting serpents. All right. These two have pegasi fighting griffins. Oh, those were pegasi. These two have unicorns fighting bears. 
but this one so it was an alicorn has an alicorn on it it's the <gasps> only one without a match how did i miss that i've been asking myself that ever since before <laughs> oh amazing a seven-sided chest of chico maz talk it's real holy shit Girls. Uh, let's see. Carry him. Seriously, do you ever not escape out of the top of a temple? <laughs> we'll have to carry Mr. Adventure Critic out with us. We won't be fast enough. We'll Just leave him. Leave him. I think Rainbow Dash and I have this covered. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Oh god. Whoop! And now they're free. And now let's see El Soto. You were insane! You said go over him! I said go around him! Well. And I said be quiet! This way! I heard you! Okay, I got it. Let's create a fake treasure out of mud and rocks, give that to Caballeron, and then when- Not every daring do plan has to be super complicated. <laughs> yeah, just throw it right there. I swear I heard them! Oh god. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that girl scream. In the background. Eh, not particularly original or inspired, but it worked. Who were you again? <laughs> He's a fan. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, a fan. There's some stairs on the other side of the temple that lead out of the ravine. Oh, I suggest you two take them and head west. What about you? I've right. got to get this to a museum. Thanks for your help. I couldn't have done it without you. A museum? You. It's gonna be safer there than just hide it somewhere in the forest. Just bury it. So? So? Maybe the later books are slightly more realistic than I gave them credit for. Still don't like them. What? what? How can you... Wait, hold on. Before we get in another fight, I, I think I finally figured it out. I love the daring dude that solves puzzles and uses her brain to get out of tough situations. And she did way more of that in the original trilogy. Yeah. You love the daring dude that is brave and awesome and comes out on top no matter what the odds. Okay. Yeah. I like puzzles. And that's okay. We might never agree on what makes daring dude cool, <laughs> but you are definitely cool. I mean, the way you saved me on the bridge. Like, oh wow. boy. And escaping from the temple. You, Rainbow Dash, are awesome. <laughs> well, I'm not the one who can. Is he to going to write fan fiction about Rainbow Dash? Dash? You may have terrible taste in books, but you're pretty awesome yourself. In a brainy egghead puzzle solving kind of way. <laughs> I guess we don't have to agree on everything to get along. <laughs> friends? Friends. Definitely friends. Alright, good. Uh, uh, hoof. Hoof shake. Oh, hoof right clap? Book, I, yeah, I think I can make things way clearer. I, I mean, think hoof. In the second and adventure, hoof there's fire? a side I don't know. Kind of name it right now because it's sort of this thing that I've already written a lot of fan fiction on. Want, <laughs> you know, not that I'm saying that you would steal it, but I am saying that this would totally go along my whole thing about puzzle solving. Except, what if each puzzle that was solved uh, unlocked a new karate move? Think of it that <laughs> way, right? Oh no! I mean, I'm kind of a year like Sounds like own, shit. So I'm sure she'd be open to uh, quibble. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The autistic spurgings of a critic. It was an amazing episode. I fucking love this episode. It was amazing. At first I thought it was just like, ah, oh, you fucking nostalgia faggots. You know, like the people that are like, basically still sucking Lauren Foss's cock. Uh, Lauren Foss was good. This show is still good. And it's probably going to be good until they end it. Um, because money talks and they, they understand that doing these types of stories and not only getting little girls buying their toys, but even adults, that's where the money is. So, 
I fucking loved it. I, I do not ship them, alright? That way. I have a lot of ships. That's one of them. My, my number one Rainbow Dash ship is still Zephyr Breeze in Rainbow Dash. Because I'm seeing it as like... Man, I just want Rainbow Dash to bully him, alright? Um, or bully his penis. Um, but more about this episode, other than my <laughs> sexual head cannons. Uh, wait, let me see. I, I loved in the beginning. I think it did stretch a bit, bit too long of him just being like, Oh, this is fake, this is fake, blah blah blah. Uh, I believe it was a bit too long, but then again, I don't know a better place than with that, you know, uh, monster where he would be like, oh shit, this is real, you know. So even though I believe it took too long to get to that point, I don't, can I can't really come up at right now a better time for to do so. So... Yeah. Um, I feel st I still feel so sorry for Twilight in the beginning. She's like, oh man, she really wants to be here. Even though I don't agree that A.K. Jerling should be Twilight's favorite author. Uh, I hope they go back on it sometime and she say someone else's, alright? I just don't see Daring Do as being like, I can see Twilight loving Daring Do. I mean, we all do. But I can't see it being her fucking favorite. <laughs> um, yeah, what more? Other than me being like, this is shit, this shit. I mean, god damn it, I don't really know much more to say about it because other than just it being like, oh yeah, the moral at the end. I think he was a bit too fast to be like, alright, let's not argue about it right now, and we can just agree to disagree, you know, and we can still be friends, <laughs> right, right? They should have kept arguing, and then become friends, you know, they should have kept it a little bit, you know, then they can both be like, you know what, let's just agree. I do enjoy what he said, they're like, the reason he liked the first, I don't know, I don't remember, it was the first tr trilogy or whatever, it was because it had more puzzles and solving, you know, which we saw, he's very good at solving puzzles with that, uh, that lock and the key, yeah. and, I mean, Rainbow Dash is much more, you know, action oriented, she can do a lot more things than he does, I mean, he's just a dirty, filthy earth pony. <laughs> and she saw. Oh, uh, we all know that Alcorns are the master race. And then comes Pegasus. Not Pegasus, but Unicorns, even though my favorites are Earth Ponies. Filthy Mud Ponies. But yeah, I mean, it was a extremely good, like, Meta episode. I loved it. All right, it was the best episode of season six. No, the best episode of the show. All right. Uh, tomorrow it probably will not be. Every single episode is my favorite episode. Because other than it ain't easy being breezies, there's not really any episode I dislike. They're all good. The show is good. Yeah. Oh, so salty. Wild ships from Wild Man. I do not recommend them. I do like that it moose meat and deer meat and something else, uh, which I don't know what it is in English. Gjort el Joren. 
it's one of those that is like deer and elk I think is what it's called anyways yes elk what was I talking about yeah they're a bit too salty I like the flavors of the animals but there's too much salt so that's my review not my review my reaction <laughs> Uh, all my blank commentary, I don't know. Two, Stranger Than Fiction. Or Stranger Than Fan Fiction. Or Stranger, yes, yeah, Stranger Than Fan Fiction. My Little Pony Season 6, Episode 13. It was great.